In the previous video, we discussed about the osteoblasts and its differentiation. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing about the bone remodeling process. In simple terms, it is the removal of old or immature mineralized bone by osteoclasts and then formation of bone matrix or bone tissue by osteoblasts. That can assure us the bone remodeling. So we are going to see two important cells here. One is the osteoclast that looks like this and other one is the osteoblast shown in the diagram. First of all, if we see the origin of osteoclast, it comes from HSC, that's hematopoietic stem cell. This HSC gives rise to myeloid progenitor, which then gives rise to monocyte. And from this monocyte, we get the osteoclasts. On the other hand, the osteoblast has an origin from MSC, that's mesenchymal stem cell. The MSC gives rise to osteoblast progenitor which in turn gives rise to osteoblast. Now let's see what these cells secrete in order to initiate the bone remodeling process. On the left we have the osteoclast cell and we know it breaks down the bone tissue. The osteoclast cell secretes different enzymes, molecules in order to resolve the bone tissue. Like it secretes hydrogen ions, collagenase, cathepsin K, hydrolytic enzymes, acid phosphatases, trip molecules and many other enzymes to drive the bone resorption process. And these osteoclasts are found on the bone surface. And when activated, these form the shallow depressions on bone surface called the resorption base. Now looking at the osteoblast, which synthesizes the bone tissue, it mainly secretes hydroxylapatite, extracellular matrix proteins and the collagen rich substance that is the osteoid. Now moving towards the remodeling process. First of all, osteoblast senses the cracks or there is an old bone tissue which mediates the bone remodeling process. Then osteoblast drives the rankle pathway. The rankle expressed by the osteoblast interacts with the rank of monocytes. Rank binds the monocytes as shown in the diagram and transforms the monocyte into osteoclasts which will start the bone resorption process now. In the bone resorption, till now we have seen how monocyte gets transformed into osteoclasts. The active osteoclast forms as the resorption base on the bone surface as shown in the diagram. And from here the active osteoclast will start segregating different enzymes and molecules which drive the resorption process. Now when the resorption is done, we need to synthesize the new bone tissue and it's done by osteoblasts. The active osteoblast on the surface of bone will start bone formation by matrix deposition. It will synthesize hydroxylapatite and many other extracellular matrix proteins. And in the end, the late osteoblast will get inside the bone where it will synthesize the osteoid, that is the collagen rich substance, and then eventually will turn into osteocyte. And these late events inside the bone constitutes as the mineralization process. So this is how the bone remodeling is driven by osteoclast and the osteoblasts. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.